DaVinci Resolve 18.1 is a major update for the Fairlight audio page, plus has improvements to the audio features in the edit and cut pages. These new features will help make professional audio workflows in the Fairlight page faster, easier, and more powerful than ever. Let's start in the inspector, where you'll find two new dialogue-based track effects for quickly removing background noise and improving dialogue levels. First is the powerful new Voice Isolation tool for DaVinci Resolve. Voice Isolation is a DaVinci Neural Engine AI-based effects process that instantly recognizes and isolates the human voice from background sounds. This example includes four voice clips with obvious background noise issues, such as crowd noise, traffic, aircraft, explosions. You only need to enable voice isolation in the inspector, and the Neural Engine AI instantly recognizes and isolates the voice. Crowd noise. Traffic. Aircraft. Explosions. Voice isolation is perfect for cleaning up interviews and dialogue clips recorded on location, like this cooking show. With a stir fry, really is a, a absolute plethora of, of options really for you. Um, today we're going to do a vegetarian one. You can apply voice isolation to a track or an individual clip. Just select the clip, enable voice isolation, and the distracting background noise is gone. With a stir fry, really is a, a absolute Use the amount control to focus completely really on the voice um, or dial it back so the natural sounds of the room are still are present. Really, uh, uh, a really sensational cultivated mushroom. They they offer you use the controls window to switch the effect on and off. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start off with that. Voice isolation also works in the edit page and cut page, so video editors can easily clean up dialogue with a with single a click. Really is a, a absolute plethora of, of options really for you. Um, today we're gonna do a video in this example. Video. I'll disable voice isolation in the edit page, then. Go to the cut page to enable it. This means you can keep dialogue that would be totally unusable without having to be a professional audio expert. We're going to use shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms are really uh, a really sensational cultivated mushroom. They they offer you a really meaty flavor. A great example is this podcast interview that was recorded too low a level, so the dialogue now has excessive noise when the levels increased just to be audible wider than what we have to work with, so... Um. You can also enable or disable the voice isolation track effect in the Fairlight Mixer. Disabled effects are italicized and yellow when turned on. What we're seeing with our eyes is so much wider than what we have to work with, so... Uh, the, the world is so beautiful and what we see and um, so that's really inspiring to me and then it's like how do I take that and then translate it into this. DaVinci Resolve 18.1 also introduces a second powerful AI based track effect called Dialogue Leveler. The new Dialogue Leveler will intelligently process dialogue recordings to even out varying levels for natural smooth sounding results. It can remove the need for tedious keyframe and automation adjustments and avoid overprocessed sounding clips due to heavy compression and limiting. An example here is this clip, which would require extensive keyframes to achieve target levels. Instead, I'll reset the clip volume, select the track in the mixer, and enable the dialog leveler for the track. The default settings will optimize levels for most sources with three active processes that reduce loud dialogue, lift soft dialogue, and reduce background noise. Now you're here. Alive. The controls window includes a real-time scrolling waveform that shows the effect of the three active processes. We also sustain some hull damage, but it's nothing critical. And Oh, you're here. Alive. You can also change the output gain and processing mode. Now let's try the dialogue leveler on the podcast interview track. 
and we will use the meter plugin to show the levels before and after. First, you can hear the track without the effect. In the meter, optimal dialog levels are yellow, while red and green are too loud or too quiet in most cases. We have to work with, so the world is so beautiful and what we see. As you can see, the levels are all over the place. Now, let's see what happens when we use the dialog leveler. What we're seeing with our eyes is so much wider than what we have to work with. So uh, the, the world is so beautiful and what we see. And um, so that's really inspiring to me. The dialog leveler can also fix and mix a recording where talent turns off mic while talking. In this example, Chef Jamie alternates between turning away from the mic and leaning into it. Shiitake mushrooms are really uh, a really sensational cultivated mushroom. They they offer you a really meaty flavor, really meaty texture. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start off with that. Now let's fix it with the dialog leveler. Shiitake mushrooms are really uh, a, a really sensational cultivated mushroom. They they offer you a really meaty flavor, really meaty texture. Um, so Getting a great result is effortless, and you can really eliminate the time you would otherwise need to set keyframes and chase dialogue levels for mixing. You can use voice isolation and dialogue leveler on the cut and edit pages too, helping you get some great sounding mixes. DaVinci Resolve 18.1 also includes major improvements to its track-based automation capabilities. Now you can work with new vector-based keyframes. Vectoring means that any two keyframes can represent a perfectly smooth gain change between those two points. This makes it a lot easier to draw the automation you want so you get great results. In addition, Automation now updates continuously to match the playhead position, whether you're using a console, search dial, or JKL keys. In the timeline, there are now two keyframe view modes, a clip editing view for clip keyframes, and a track automation view for track curves. The improved automation curves can be edited with standard tools. This means you can freely add and move keyframes or select and adjust levels. You can also draw smooth curves with a pencil. Plus, the focus mode allows selection to delete, nudge, copy a range of keyframes from one track to another, or Edit individual keyframes one click at a time. The expanded actions allow writing automation to the start or end or all. Plus, there are options to quickly enable auto punch or active range. The active range marker can be resized or moved as needed, and the automation mode changes from preview to write, then read automatically before, during, and after the playhead reaches the active range. This means you can prime the fader in preview, write new data through the range, and finish in read only when the active range ends. You can also delete the marker when you're finished. Right-clicking the ruler allows you to turn a selection range into an active or punch automation range. Punch automation drops all arm tracks into write mode within the punch range. If you're working with a mouse and keyboard, hold the Option Alt key to control all selected tracks at once. Plus, there is a new safe option, which adds a padlock icon to prevent writing new automation to the track. However, you can still manually edit the automation curve as needed. Finally, you can also turn off a track's automation. The Fairlight timeline offers a new grid mode for editing clips on a grid. You can use the grid menu to customize the grid line visibility, snapping, time scale of either time code or tempo, and the resolution. 
In the example here, I'll use the default one frame resolution and enable the snap to grid option to easily trim, edit, or nudge to the grid lines. When editing to music, it can sometimes be useful to edit to a musical tempo grid. Now, DaVinci Resolve 18.1 supports grid editing based on musical tempo, making this a simple process. Use the right click menu to set the tempo grid start with the playhead at the beginning of the song. You can also use a range to set the tempo grid. In this example, the music's been randomly moved and trimmed. All I need to do is mark a range as I count out the beats. In, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, out. Now I can right click the ruler and choose set tempo grid BPM. I can even set the start of the song to the playhead. Now the grid aligns to the music and can be used to edit the soundtrack to the beat. There are so many new features added to the Fairlight page in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. Many of these features are based on user requests. We have a new option for wide track meters and now show track name tooltips in the monitoring panel and mixer. You can now create audio crossfades between clips over a gap. Using the trim menu, or a keyboard shortcut. This is a real time saver when you're quickly cleaning up tracks before mixing. Fairlight now has a new option to focus the timeline on the start or end of a range. This is great for both wide range selections off screen and precision adjustments at the sample level. Plus, the Fairlight timeline now offers additional editing options including ripple cut, and Paste Insert. Fairlight's built-in ADR toolset also has a major update with comprehensive cue controls for an enhanced user experience. In this example, you can see it is now possible to control ADR recording with custom keyboard shortcuts to play, record, rehearse, and stop. On the setup panel, there's now a live on-screen text preview, so you can see style changes in context with the scene. On the list panel, cue ID numbers can now be changed even on existing cues. Plus, in and out times update as you move the playhead, and you can tab to navigate through fields for quick editing control. To show how this works, let's import a cue list. You can set the column headers if needed. There are new options for cue ID, done, and ignore. Also, default values will be generated for ignored columns, and cue IDs will get a new, unique ID. During import, two buttons are now available to clear import and merge import. When you export a cue list, the file name includes ADR cues, the project name, and the timeline name. And finally, the merge functionality is based on cue IDs, which enables lossless CSV round trips back and forth between collaborators in a recording session.